let us go and try to understand today as part of the demo we are going to cover both the versions obw 11g as well as toll c as the people are aware of it obw toll c released in the 2015 october month it is released it's almost 4 or 5 months duration 4 or 5 months duration of course still no one is really executing full fledged projects on the tolls okay here and there couple of migrations might be happened 11g to tolls but really scratch to end developments are really not there okay but still we are going to learn obw 11g as a primary concentration as people have to show some kind of experience that's what obw 11g as a full uh, full scale and obw tolls see whatever new things are available those all things are going to cover in such a way tomorrow you are placed in the 11g project or toll c project it doesn't matter you will be able to survive in that project that's what my goal get my point right now next one today as part of the demo one what exactly i am going to cover we are going to cover these are the points i am going to cover number 1 what is domain i am going to cover what is domain then we are going to cover what is data and how many types of data available how many types of data bases available and rra tech training outline or standards are going to cover these are the points five points i am going to cover one is what is domain what is data types of data types of databases and analytic training standards if you go and try to ask let us say what is data what is data let us say i am writing the same question here what is data anyone have chance to uh, sorry what is domain anyone come across this word domain word yes if you, if you come across domain word then tell me what is the domain if i say some people are saying as domain is also called as what vertical domain is also called as what vertical if i say domain or if i say vertical both are one and same both are one and same if you open any one company website let us say i am going for i am going for one of the company you might be aware of this company cognizant.com cognizant.com then you can you can find out here what is the first one is available industries if you go to the industries then we have here then we have here list of industries are available even domain or vertical or industry all are one and same domain domain vertical or industries all are one and same now if you go and try to see the domain names some domain names let us say first domain name is available what is this banking finance then service people people normally they will used to call it as shortly bfs what is that bfs these are the types of industries whatever available now these are the types of industries whatever available in that one we are interested let us say if you go for first one that is called as bfs banking finance service how this banking finance service people are collecting the data are getting the data from where they are exactly getting the data right if you go and try to see this slide once right what she is trying to do here she is trying to withdraw some amount from atm here atm is a application which is made up of php code or some dot net code or some java code the moment she is trying to withdraw amount then immediately that application is producing some data some data values and the data values were storing into where in oltp the data values are storing into where oltp okay now this whatever data values is storing in the oltp is nothing but called as totally what is this transaction it's called as transaction so 
whatever we have here withdraw whatever we have here withdraw withdraw is called as what is this one transaction whatever we have withdraw is one transaction only withdraws are going to do it or we are going to deposit also we are going to deposit also so deposit is also called as one transaction deposit is also called as one transaction and this is corresponding to banking what about the now finance what about the finance so these guys are whatever deposits they got that one they are that one they are doing in the form of let us say car loans they are doing in the form of what is this home loans and they are doing in the form of personal loans and number of loans they are giving and they are circulating the amount circulating the money and also they are doing some kind of services now it is most of the bills we are paying from home from your laptop right so you are paying let us say mobile bills how you are paying mobile bills using your net banking you are paying it without any cost it is free of service some cases and you are paying let us say you are paying let us say your internet bill how you are paying this one using internet banking or you are paying your bills let us say tv bills that means whatever cable bills are available those all cable bills okay these all things whatever available are falling under where banking finance service these two things are called as banking activity these two things are called as finance activity and these th three things are called as service activity they are giving services to attract the customers to attract the customers now what i want to say is in banking and finance and service in banking and finance and service these are the activities going on because of these activities because of these activities we are getting what transactions we are getting it because of these activities we are getting transactions can you please give the some of the customers names in this area some of the customers names in this area let us say bank of america okay or we are taking let us say city bank or we are let us taking let us say key bank okay are you let us saying let us say wells fargo then like this n number of customers you can go on you can take in this area let us say jp morgans n number of customers you can take it so these all are called as customers normally if i am going for putting my resume hey i worked for jpm customer and i did this is what the my project from these are the source systems i am getting the data and these are the reports areas i worked and below i am writing the roles and responsibilities i have chance to develop so and so xyz i have chance to develop so and so abc i have chance to develop so and so def like that i am writing it yes or no whenever they ask about tell me about your project the first word you have to speak about is who is your customer customer domain is what i am working so and so jpm customer he is belongs to banking finance service domain that is the first word what i am expecting even when customer is came to the it company it company is saying as hey man i want to develop data warehouse project the first thing we will try to understand is what business is trying to do what business is trying to do okay what is the business is trying to do he is in the banking business are is the healthcare business what type of business what type of industry is why given the first tab is industry here is divided the business into that areas right he divided the entire business of this cognizant into different industries and even end of the end of the year we are able to tell hey we got the good business in the bfs that is the first place hey we got the second business in the healthcare that is the second business like that we used to tell vertical wise we are going to tell it our domain wise we are going to tell it so overall what i want to say is we have a domain the domain is called as what is the domain banking finance and service 
these are the activities whatever you are doing each activity is called as nothing but one transaction and some of the customers we go and take it these are the customers are available now this is the one thing let us go for other one can you tell me other industry any one industry here next one is available what is this healthcare let us go for healthcare healthcare now in healthcare how you are getting the transactions suppose you are working for same company called as cognizant let us say you are working for same company called as cognizant okay let us say cognizant cognizant or let us say oracle cognizant or let us say oracle or we have like this so many companies are available extra are paying are paying premium to usg united health group united health group that paying premium whatever available is called as what is called as one transaction is called as one transaction and whenever some employee of the cognizant or dependent of the employee are hospitalized now bills are going to pay by who usg is that no so let us say let us say cognizant employee employee hospitalized then prem then bills will be paid by paid by who is that usg usg now whatever this is happening here this is also called as what one transaction this also called as what one transaction so what i am trying to say is the healthcare also some transactions are going on or not the transaction they are writing in the pen and paper or they have some proper application designed for that proper application designed for that using their own java code or dot net core or php code or outside industry industry specific applications are available they may be outright purchase it and they may be using it right now let us go and try to tell me some of the customers in this area anyone you are aware of it one is called as healthnet second is called as usg like this you can take here n number of customers you can take here if you go and try to google type the top 10 healthcare customers you are going to get top 10 healthcare customers okay right now let us go for third one regularly you are seeing it that one you can connect very easily retail regularly you are seeing this retail or not retail tell me now in the retail how they are getting the data suppose suppose i am going here i am going here i am trying to say one thing that is called as purchase order what is that purchase purchase order purchase order using oracle apps software so generally it is a big company we are not going to do manually right we would use the phones this kind this kind of things first we we'll officially raise what purchase order that purchase order the purchase order will be looks like this what are the what is the information available purchase order and we have here what is the operating unit purchase order supplier ship to where buyer is who and create a type site build to where you have to send it and what is the total amount what is the quantity one piece cost is equal to how much 50 into this is how much that one is stamped here so whatever you are seeing here it's called as what it's called as purchase order purchase order is a nothing but one transaction purchase order is nothing but what one transaction 
this purchase order we are raising using the software called as oracle lab software it is a erp system it's a erp system okay now you people understand one point here now you understand one point here the main thing which is happening is what po po stands for purchase order po stands for purchase order the purchase order we can raise using some erps like Oracle Labs, PeopleSoft, JD AdWords, SAP system, a number of ERPs are available in the market. Now, only they keep on purchasing it, they have to sell it also. They need to sell, right? So, the selling things is called as sales order, right? Right. What is this? Sales order. Who is the customer? Customer number is what? And we have here ship to location, bill to location, order type is what? And if you see the bottom, what is the availabilities and action, these all things are available. It is going to give more information, line items, these all things. So overall, what I want to say is, whatever you are seeing, it is called as what? Sales order. We are doing here SO, sales order. In our IT industry, Generally, if I speak the SO, it is called as service order. If I go to my HR, if I ask, hey man, I want one uh, resource for my project. The next question she will ask, do you have SO from the customer? So, service order from the customer. If service order is available, then only she is going to assign resource to me. You are getting my point. So, what I am trying to say is here, in the retail also, we are doing a transactions purchase order whatever available that is called as what one transaction sales order whatever available that is called as what one transaction and can you name it some of the customers you are aware of in this area some of the customers you are aware of in this area walmart next target Next, Amazon, Next, and like this, n number of things are available, n number of things are available. So, if you are putting your resume, first you have to understand, yes, I am belongs to which domain? Am I belongs to BFS domain? Or am I belongs to healthcare domain? Or am I belongs to retail domain? Whatever projects you are putting, the customer name you have to understand first. The customer is belongs to what business area we have to understand second. Once you have, once we got the clarity on that one, then we have to say line of businesses available in that domain or in that customer. Line of businesses available in that in that line. Let us go and try to understand next question. <coughs> what is LOB? What is LOB. What is LOB? What do you mean by LOB, sir? Line of business. If I say in the banking and finance and service, credit cards, credit cards is what? One line of business. Saving accounts is what? One line of business. Okay. Loans is what? One line of business. In that one again, car loans is what one line of business. From where we are getting the source of income? We are getting the income, right? We are getting the revenue, right? That revenue is coming from where? Those all source of incomes, I can call it as line of business. Line of business. So, source of income or money is called as simple words. What is this? Line of business. Source of income or money is called as line of business. Now we got the clarity on what is domain and what is LOB. Now I want to understand what you mean by year, what you mean by year data. What is the data? That is what our next question, right? What is the first question? What is domain? We got the clarity on what is domain. Anyone has any questions on that one? No, there is nothing but one business area. 
retire is our business area healthcare is one business area life science is one business area ime information media entertainment is one business area whatever i take in here screenshot these all things are called as what is this domains are business areas now second one i want to understand what is data what is data from where we are getting the data exactly what is data and from where we are getting the data exactly right if you see here the screenshot whatever available i can say i can say whatever we have here this one is a data value or not 9627 is a data value or not 19127 and usd amounts these all things are called as these all things are called as what is that data values only these all data values together called as one transaction even it is giving some information to you right hey so and so customer ordered so and so thing we are delivering to so and so address he is paying this much of amount totally it is giving some information or not so collection of data is giving some information what is that collection of data is giving some information to you collection of data is giving some information to you so that point is very clear so collection of data is giving some information and this data whatever available right we are dividing into some types what are the types are available you have to understand if you see here anything which giving some meaningful information is known as data anything suppose this one this is something right this is giving some information so this is totally is called as what data and this data whatever available we are dividing into two types number one is called as transactional data whatever i am speaking about this all things whatever we have here whatever we have here withdraws deposits mobile bills internet bills these all things are what some transactions only those all things are called as transactions and the data whatever we got because of those transactions are known as what transactional data and next one is available data that is called as what is this analytical data so data is divided into how many types two types one is called as transactional data second is called as analytical data one is called as transactional data second is called as analytical data now let us go and try to understand more about transactional data more about transactional data right transactional data is also called as run time data what is that run time data for example you are working in the procurement team what is, what is the job of the procurement team suppose if you go to the it also we have here administration wing is available if you go to the administration wing from the roof some tags are there Hey, TAG team, Talent Acquisition Group HR team. Hey, this is a ELM team, Enterprise Learning Management team. That is Academy team. And we have your Procurement team. And we have your Network and Support Systems team, NSS team. Okay. And we have here some other teams. Tags are available, right? You are getting my point. So that those are all different departments internally, right? those are different departments internally similarly procurement also one of the department those guys job is purchasing the things those guys job is what purchasing the things suppose let us say sunday is came sunday is taking on leave he is going to raise any purchase orders no so whenever you are running your business then only then only you are going to get what transaction data If you are running your business, then only you are going to get what transaction data. If you are not working, if your business is closed, then we won't get what transaction data. Transaction data. Now, this is one-time activity, or every day we are going to get it. Every day we are going to get it. Monday I am going to get it. Tuesday I am going to get it. Wednesday I am going to get it. So every day I am going to get it. So that's what we are saying as. it is day to day data is called as what transaction data 
and this transaction data how much detail you are going to capture how much detail is required to close the transaction how much detail is required to close the transaction that much of detail i am going to capture right what do you mean by closing the transaction suppose i ordered for one mobile what they need to know about me they need to know what how he is going to pay where he is going to pay billing address where i need to deliver this one shipping address yes or no and contact details what are the contact details if in case if i am not able to find the address like that a number of information you need to know or not so to close the transaction to close the transaction we require here we require here too much of detail information is required once those all information we collected in the form of like this we collected in the form of like this and we click on the submit button then what is happening that is going and trying to store in back end one database that means transaction data is nothing but what is this current data whenever you are doing something immediately that is going and back end sitting here whenever she is trying to do something here immediately that is coming and storing where here so whatever she is doing here immediately that is going here immediately that is going here that's what can i call it as current data inside this database whatever available can i call it as current data yes that's what these all are synonyms transaction data is called as what run time data or it is also called as what day to day data or current data or detailed data whatever name you are calling all are one and same all are one and same now is useful to run our business how it is going to help you to run the business how it is going to help you to run the business suppose delivery boys came delivery boys came he forgot to write in the transaction shipping address then tell me can you run the business no so this transaction data whatever available it is useful to run the business or not yes or she came here and she is complaining before the manager hey man i took 10000 rupees from atm unfortunately all this 10000 rupees are fake currency then manager immediately going to replace it no he has to verify really she taken from my atm or not if yes at what time if yes what is the serial number it is given from where the serial numbers we got into the atm what is the source of this one like the n number of things he has to analyze then only is going to close the transaction till that point of time he is not going to close it to close the transaction how much of information is required those all information we are capturing that's what we are saying as detail information we are capturing and this detail information is helping you to run the business to run the business fine whatever data is available right where you are trying to store this one database right where you are trying to store that one in the database and this database whatever available here is called as oltp why it is named like that you tell me whatever she is doing here offline activity or online activity online activity excellent online activity whatever she is doing here it's called as one transaction or not whatever she is doing here it's called as one transaction and moving the data from application to database means it is some process or not it is some process now all together whatever we have here this all together called as what oltp all together is called as what oltp because she is doing here online activity and whatever she is doing it is called as transaction and moving the data from application to database is called as process so all together it's called as oltp even you know if i am giving one database to you let us say i am going to my website rritc.com
let us go for here i have here all installations are available let me go for database installations what database i am trying to install oracle database i am trying to install in the oracle database installation forget about all the screens let us go and try to observe one screen one screen let us go and try to observe here yes try to observe this 14th point what i am trying to do in the 14th point select data warehouse then click on the next yes select the type of database that you want to create that you want to create i can create what database i can create transaction supporting database i can create transaction supporting database is called as is called as what is that oltp second database second database what i can create here data warehouse it is optimized for data warehouse applications data warehouse application is nothing but our obi data warehouse application is what sir our obi our data warehouse application is called as what sir cognos data warehouse application is called as what sir sap bo all reporting tools you can call it as data warehouse applications so overall what i want to say is how many types of database is available two types one is what transaction supporting that is oltp second is what data warehouse it is also called as it is also called as olap it is also called as what olap so data warehouse is called as olap and general purpose is called as what oltp whatever data is available the data end of the day we are trying to store into one database it is called as oltp so same oracle software based on the radio button what is selected that decides it is a oltp or it's a data warehouse based on the radio button what you are going to select here that is going to decide what you are going to install oltp or you are going to install data warehouse it is going to decide it now source of this transactional data is applications correct or not atm is our application purchase order application or tomorrow you are not uh, tomorrow you want to leave you want to leave how you are going to apply the leave sir if you want to leave it tomorrow then how you are going to apply you will take white paper and pen and will write the leave letter Yes, tell me what you are going to do. What you are going to do? We are going to take here loom management screenshots. Let us say this is simple screenshot. Observe this one. What is available here? We are going to apply for leave. What is the leave type? It is the annual leave. or it is a personal leave or vacational leave or it is a sick leave of course before we want to apply after we are going to apply sick leave then what start date then end date and what are the com comments then we are going to submit this one it will it will hit to the your supervisor for approval purpose that guy is, is approving then you can take the leave that's what the process internally right whatever this total process is available can i call it as one transaction can i call it as one transaction yes this is coming from which system leave management system i typed here lms lms stands for leave management system that is one application from that application whatever data we got the data is called as transactions the transaction data we are storing in the database the database is called as oltp the database is called as oltp now we got the clarity on source of this transactional data is what applications applications examples is you can take your atm or you can take your share market or you can take your facebook or you can take your google plus or you can take your twitter or you can take my rri tech website also because in my rri tech website also i given here i given here registration form i given 
some student came here and asking for hey man i want demo that is one transaction for me correct or not he registered he is a one, one enquiry for me right so what i am trying to say is using some application we are going to generate what some data each each trans each data whatever you requesting is called as one transaction now we are understand now transactional data very clear right transaction data is very clear right now let us go and try to see here let us say i'll show you we have here some report table of liu by branch for the financial year 2008 to 2009 but i am not expecting this kind of data sorry some reason i am not able to find out the data screenshot let's say we got here something sample transactional data i written then we got so much of data as we got here let us take here any one window let us say i am trying to take this window then view this image let us take this image it's not the live management system image it's something else retail data we got it anything let us know okay what is available here customer id is what next what customer category is what and next what merchant id is what then what merchant category merchant sub category and like this n number of records are available here each line whatever you are seeing here called as what one transaction in the same way in the live management system also we have so and so employee employee id is 101 so and so name name is rom his designation is let us say sm and he is applying leave for on the date of this is what the date like that we have the information or not that is called as what one transaction that is called as one transaction now we understand that point very clearly let us say the transaction data will be available like this we may have here what is this employee id then what employee name then what we have here with that guy job and we have here that guy that guy start date leave start date leave start date and that guy leave end date and type of the leave is applying type of the type of the leave he applied like this n number of columns may be available still some other things may be available supervisor is what is approved or not what is the status blah blah employee id is equal let us take here 18 19 21 okay now if i am trying to take here name as name one and we are trying to take job as let us say sm then start date is equal let us say 01 then april then 
then end date is equal let us say end date is equal let us say i want to go for up to fifth now type of the leave is equal let us say i want to go for on personal leave pl okay like this i entered the data like this we may have here n number of transaction records are available right so whatever data we are seeing here whatever data we are seeing here this data is called as what type of data what type of data transactional data this transactional data nature is what whenever i am applying the leave submit or whenever my supervisor approved immediately that is coming and storing in the table or not getting my point the moment if i submit my leave the data is coming and storing in this table or not so the data nature is what it is a current data and it is going to store as much as detail required to close this transaction as much as detail required to close this transaction then third one this information is useful to do what to run our business and fourth one fourth one we are trying to store this one where you are trying to store it oltp database this data is coming from where this data is coming from application here the application type is equal to we are using here lms leave management system is application what you are using it what you are using it now out of this all things very important point is here whatever we have here transactional data the transactional data mainly useful for the purpose of what running the business mainly useful for the purpose of running the business excellent now we understand my business is spread across globe some people are working from usa some people are working from uk some people are working from india some people are working from somewhere else now i am a big guy in the hr in the human resources i am a big guy end of the day i have let us say so many thousands of employees are available is it possible for me to observe hey ram ricard applied leave or not john ricard applied leave or not like that one by one employee can i apply, can i observe it sr yes no because i said my business is spread across the globe i have so many thousands of employees are available so it is not possible for me to observe like that but i can i can observe overall what is happening people are happily taking their they are able to utilize their leaves or not they are properly able to utilize the leave means what there is no much pressure in the companies they are happily doing the work life balance you are getting my point right why they are giving the leave sir why they are giving the leave they have no work that's what they are giving the leave no right they want you to make happy that's what called as work life balance right so that you will be spend some time with your families and you will be refreshed tomorrow you can work better so i want to understand now people are able to utilize their leaves or not that is the one thing second i want to understand in which month people more people are going on the leave suppose coming 8th coming 8th we have the india festival is available in india or only in our states whatever it is applicable we have we have some festival is available because of that festival at least in our hyderabad telangana or andhra pradesh we are not going to work on that day right but usa people are going to work on that day so my hr guy is usa guy how we come to understand eighth day people are not working based on the historical data you can see last year eighth and last year last year like that so what i am trying to say is i cannot observe record by record i cannot observe i want now summarized data i want it how it looks like i'll show you on screen shot or one report i'll show it just observe this report just observe this report
right just observe this report and let me know what is your understanding what is your understanding from this report what and what year we are analyzing 2009 year and which month we are analyzing january and what day we are analyzing one how many members are absent 10 right how many members are absent 10 members and this is called as now summarized data or this is called as now detailed data this data is useful for high level management or middle level management to analyze the business or not how many more people are absenting in which month which day which day so whatever report we are seeing here that that is showing here transactional data or summarized data this data how we got it then this data how we got it then whatever we have here transactional data that one we are going to that one we are going to do one activity that is called as etl what is etl i come to, I, you come to understand tomorrow's class or we are also having one more process that is called as elt some process we are doing that process is converting this transactional data whatever available into into what is that this analytical data whatever we have the transactional data that one we are trying to convert into this analytical data now whatever we have here this data is called as what type of data this data is called as what type of data analytical data the first point here this data is called as current data what about this historical yes we have we are seeing here 2009 year even it is a drop down is available right that means what 2008 also i can see 2007 also i can see that is a historical second point we are seeing here ram ram employee when he applied the leave do you have the answer for this i think my question or not i want to understand ram employee applied leave on which date do you have the answer answer from this report no because this report has no information about the employee do you have employee information here no high level statistics we have here so we are seeing here what is this summarized not the detailed data now this data this data whatever available which is storing where where you are going to store it we are going to store into data warehouse it is also called as OLAP online analytical processing we are analyzing it we are analyzing it analytical data whatever available this is mainly useful this is mainly useful for the purpose of what analysis this is mainly useful for the purpose of analysis mainly useful for the purpose of what analysis and this data is coming from where coming from where oltp this data is coming from oltp now you understand difference between transactional data and analytical data transactional data is what current data analytical data is what historical data transactional data is what detailed data analytical data is what summarized data that one is useful for the purpose of running the business it is useful for the purpose of analyzing the business we are storing that one in oltp this one we are storing in oltpr it is also known as data warehouse that data is coming from applications this data is coming from oltp oltp now we got the clarity on what is the analytical data these are the points what we learned analyzing the business historical summarized OLAP or data warehouse OLTP. These points all we understood. So with this, we have chance to understand now what is data and how many types of data available and also how many types of databases available, right? How many types of databases available? Only two. One is OLTP, second is OLAP or it is also known as data warehouse. 
or it is also known as data warehouse only two types of database are available excellent next one we need to understand about rri tech training standards rri tech training standards okay let us go and try to see that one okay so we are, we are trying to explain here we are trying to explain here not only obwe the surrounding things also we are giving as a giving to as a, as a package we are giving as a package we are giving as a package as part of the package we are providing here data warehousing concepts are providing data warehousing concepts are providing and that is going to take number of hours or four hours it is going to take it today whatever we discussed that also called as what data warehousing concepts and what is transactional data what is analytical data what is oltp what is oleap analyzing means what running means what sample data application is what here domain is what here lob is what here what are the types of domain these all things are what sir ground work only we are doing right it's not related to the exactly oba it's a ground work before going for our oba why we are going for oba that is ground work we are trying to understand now second we divided our course into four levels of the training we divided our course into four levels of the training let us go and try to see my classroom notes if you go to the obwe this is what the classroom notes in this classroom notes first what i given data warehousing concepts that one these are the topics what i am going to cover next we have here next we have here what is this one level of the training that is called as practitioner level before that installations this all introduction is there okay now we are going for practitioner level the practitioner level is going to take how many hours is going to take how many hours right it is going to take let us go and try to see this videos even even this videos whatever you are seeing is not latest uh, as such i mean to say in this one obw tool see things are not covered but it's okay let us say if i am going for obw there obw 11g practitioner level so if you go and try to observe here total how many videos are available here in the practitioner level if you go and try to observe here how many videos are available 17 videos are available 17 videos are available some videos may be 10 minutes more some videos may be 10 minutes less on an average one hour you take it so total how many hours of training we are doing 17 hours of training we are doing on the practitioner level once practitioner level is completed we'll go for next level of training that is called as that is called as here what is this learner level next we are going to teach here what is that learner level the learner level also if you go and try to see the number of classes here if you go and try to see this what the learner level and we have here 10 videos are available here if i remember correctly okay now that is what the 10 and next level of training is available that is called as sorry that is called as here what is this one specialist level of training so that's what the third level of the training specialist level of training and we have here as part of the specialist level of training 15 videos are available 15 hours and we have here if you want you can go on you can see here specialist level of the training 
and we are seeing here these are the videos are available Fifteen videos are available. Now, similarly, if you go for next level of training, that is called as zero four, zero four. What is this? Advanced level. We given the name, and here we have eight hours of training is available. And next one, if you go and try to observe whatever I am giving here, right? Each one has, each one has its own PowerPoint. Each one has its own PowerPoint. What is the meaning of PowerPoint? If you see my outline, what I said, any level if you take it, what is available? Chapter-wise PowerPoint, I am going to produce it. What do you mean by chapter-wise PowerPoint here? If you go and try to see, here practitioner level, we have all the presentations. From the presentations, you come to understand what is happening. I level, theoretical points are going to understand from here. High level, three points are going to understand from here. Then second one I said like second one I said like here. What is available? Chapter wise hand signs. Whatever document I referred right previously, this document. Each one I organized as what sir? Hand sign twenty five, hand sign twenty six, hand sign twenty seven like that. So any hand sign if you go and try to take here. For example, we go for hand sign one physical leg here. Then we given the notes in such a way everyone can practice their own. Start all programs or act business intelligence like that. We given the screenshot wise we given. So as document is available screenshot wise, are you in a position to do your own work or not? Yes. Now, apart from this one, we are also saying as what is this? Chapter wise recordings. So chapter wise recordings we are going to provide. We are going to provide. From my website, I am going to provide, or we have third-party website also available. There also we can host it. So in any one way, we are going to provide the access to you people. So that's what the meaning of here chapter-wise recordings. Same way, organize all the levels. In any level you take it, we have the theoretical points, purpose, PowerPoint, navigation purpose, and sons. And if you want to listen one more time. Recordings are available. One more point: we have three batches are available on OBW. Seven to eight AM IST is one batch. Nine to ten AM IST is one batch. Night eight to nine PM IST is one batch. Of course, all will be available in different different levels. Now your batch is junior batch. Today it started. Getting my point? Different batch will be available in different levels. So after few days, what will happens? One more batch will be starting in the 8 p.m. IST, right? At that moment, any one one chapter you missed out, that chapter you can cover in the 8 p.m. IST. We have the facility to attend in multiple batches. If you miss any one class, apart from the recordings, you also have the facility to attend facility to attend other batches also. That gives you more comfort. In case of urgency, you missed the class, you can cover that one in other batches, or you can listen the recordings and you can cover up. That's what the facility what we are providing it. Apart from this OBA 11G, we are also providing what? BA Publisher 11G. If you go and try to see in our document, we do have in the document BA Publisher 11G is available. If you go and try to see, we organized here. So this is what the BA Publisher 11G. Here also we given all the things screenshot wise. We given everything. As we given everything screenshot wise, are able to practice or one or not? Yes. So that's what the BA publisher. Sorry. BA publisher. It is going to take number of hours of time is four hours. Next one. Next one. What is this? DAC DAC is available. DAC is nothing but Data Warehousing Administration Console. Data Warehousing Administration Console that also going to take four hours of time. And next is available here OBIA. OBIA that two seven nine six four. 
seven nine six four. This is going to take a number of hours as eight hours. And next is available Informatica, and also OBA seven nine six four. We can call it as project. Okay, project work we are going to cover over there. And Informatica, we are going to give basic of Informatica only, sir, not the full length course. Basic. Then we are going to give here four or five hours of training will be there. And mostly, I may not be taking the class on the FAQs. Okay, but FAQs are readily available, readily available in my website. I'll guide you by spending few minutes of time how to read the FAQs and all. If you go and try to read here, chapter wise we organized here. For example, we are going for what? Physical layer. In the physical layer corresponding hands on one that is. In the hands on one, what is the question? What is the answer? What is the question? What is the answer? Like that we organized in my website. So that you are able to practice your own or not. And if you get any question, you can ask here itself under the under the chapter only. You can ask your questions, and whenever I get the time, I am going to reply it, not immediately on the spot. Okay, mostly weekends it happens. Okay, now that's what the FAQ is. We are going to spend minutes of time only. We are going to spend. Let us take a take here as 0.5 half an hour of the time. I am going to explain where you can find out this one, how to read this one. Getting my point? This whatever total course content, how it will go. This whatever to total course content, how it will go. Anyone has any questions? Now this is the time to go for questions. And before that, I'll give you one more thing. Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, every day one hour. And the timing is every day 7 a.m. IST. To 8 a.m. IST. 7 a.m. IST to 8 a.m. IST. And coming to the Saturday and Sunday weekends. Weekends we have the long classes. Starts with 7 a.m. IST to 7 a.m. IST to 11 a.m. IST. 7 a.m. IST to 11 a.m. IST. Now, total number of days we are going to spend on this course is total number of days we are going to spend on this course is 45 days we are going to spend here. Am I clear? This whatever total course content. Anyone has any questions? Online folks, this is the time to go for questions. You can type in the chat or you can unmute it. Um, good morning, sir. I'm Himanshi here. Yeah, Himanshi. Um, go ahead. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, um, actually, you know my problem I mailed you yesterday. So, uh -huh. sir, I, I want to know uh, what's happened with my badge. That's B239. It's over or it may be merged with anyone else batch. See, the total weekdays programs are completed. Okay. Okay, total weekdays programs are completed. This weekend, you people have the class. That is, that, okay. is, that is Sunday. You can contact HR for the schedule purpose. Okay. Where? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. But but sir, I I want to um uh, I want to cover the previous classes also. So uh, you can for, continue in any other batch. You can continue. You can continue the seven a.m. also. You can continue. No issues. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, related to this today's class, any questions? Question, sir. Can we see record of specific person in analytics data, analytical data? Record of specific person analytical data. That's what. Mostly no. But there is a possibility if you think like, yes, I want in my data warehouse also specific person data, I want it. You have to store in that way. See, everything is we are doing it right. What level of what level of summary you want it? What level of summary you want it? We are we are storing it. So if you think like I want specific records also I want in the data warehouse, yes you can store like that. 
that is in our hand only yes that is possible if you want munir any other questions i am not seeing any questions in the chat yes any other questions uh sir is there a advanced training recording is also available sorry the advanced training recording just uh, the topics also just available. like uh, also also available also available suppose if you go for advanced training what are the topics are available those things you can go and you can search over there here in advanced training we have the topics Just like parents' child hierarchy, parent child hierarchy, hierarchy is available, right? Go and try to yes, set this parent-child hierarchy over there. You are going to get in the website, okay? Hi, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Uh, sir, on weekend, uh, are we going to cover OBIE stuff or other stuff also? Mostly, mostly other stuff we are the... going to cover. This is what the in the weekend program stuff is going to cover. This is what we are going to cover mm -hmm. in the weekends. On weekends, so Saturday and Sunday, yeah. Yeah, weekends okay. we are going to cover these days, these things, and weekdays mm -hmm. we are going to cover these things. So, what about uh, or like uh, OBE told you, sir? OBE, yeah, that was good point, sir. Good point you raised. Okay, that also will be there as a one more one more thing I have to write then here. I missed that one. Sorry. So, OBWE to will see that is going to take a four hours of the time for me. No, that is not there. ODA, I am not going to cover anything. Okay, that is separate course. If you require, you have to join that one. OBWE covers admin part, development part, end to end, everything. Everything will be covered. Yes. Any other things? Sorry. When is the ODI new batch is going to start? That is evening started, right? Already two days back, only started. Seven p.m. IST. Morning after one week, eight a.m. IST only is going to start. Yes. Any other questions related to today's class? No, right? thanks then tomorrow onwards regular class will be happens tomorrow onwards regular class will be happens whatever notes i am referring here whatever documents i am referring here these all things will be delivered to you please collect from the hr come with this document you need not write anything in the my class if you see here data we have here data and transaction data analytical data everything is documented here you need not write anything you are getting my point whatever i used to explain here everything is already documented just if you have this document with you people you can treat this as a your classroom notes am i clear thank you tomorrow we will meet same time for regular classes thank you bye bye okay okay